Merry Christmas. That is a Christmas dinner done. Christmas Eve, a time for family, a time for joy, and a time for good food. At least, you know, for the most part. Now, we've all come to love Kay's cooking on this channel, and I think one of the reasons that she's so lovable is that she seems to be positive about everything. Makes a mistake, no big deal, burns down her house, hey, part of the process, right? But recently, something terrible has come to my attention, and it might just ruin Christmas. Kay's cooking made a video a few years ago where she made a Christmas dinner where it went so wrong that she vowed off ever making a Christmas dinner again. I mean, just the thought of it makes me want to cry for Lee, so I have no idea how he's handling this holiday season. I know I wouldn't be able to. So today we are traveling back in time to Christmas Eves of yore to see firsthand what went wrong on that fateful night. Now I must warn you before going into this that today you are going to see levels of anger coming from Kay that even I did not know was possible. So if you're not ready to see the true fire come out of Kay, then I recommend you click off now, okay? Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi people, and I'm back. And today is Christmas Day, and I've been asked by so many people to do a Christmas dinner, which will be the last time. And Merry Christmas to everyone who wished it me. This, my friends, is what we call the calm before the storm. You better savor this version of Kay while we still have her because uh, she's not sticking around long. I'm putting the stuffing in with a bit of buttermilk, an egg, a bit of fruit and salvanta. And I'm going to put some margin. As you can see, it's all coming together nicely. All right, well, we seem to be running into some issues already. Is it just me, or does this not seem like near enough stuffing for an entire dinner? I mean, this is like a single surf packet or something stuffing on the go. This won't even fill the entire bird. Though I could just be making myself look like a complete idiot because, um, to be honest, I've never stuffed a bird. My family is not a bird stuffing family. We just eat dressing and call it stuffing because you know what? We're cool like that. Is this what stuffing is supposed to look like? For Forgive me for being stupid if I just roasted K for no reason. And now I'm going to put some of the stuff in. In the turkey, it's all fine. Alright, so I know I just got done saying that I've never stuffed a bird, but you know what? Intuition tells me that this is not enough stuffing for that velociraptor they got sitting on the table. Oh my god, what do they do? Custom order a turkey from Chernobyl? That is the biggest turkey I think I've ever seen in my life. Is this just a weird angle or something, or is this turkey gigantic? I know I didn't show you, I put the pork joint in, but it went in not long after the turkey went in. And it's, it's, well, it's more or less nearly done. It's had an hour. So now I'm just going to put some roast turtles in with it. I don't know, man, you bloody thing. And then I'm going to put some... And then I'm going to put some pigs in blankets in. I'm going to move the pork joint a bit on. And I'm going to put some pigs in blankets. I'm just going to do... Two. I'm sorry, but the visuals of this dinner, it's just hilarious to me. We've got two giant slabs of meat, and then looks like maybe two potatoes cut into thirds, and then six ounces of stuffing, and then two pigs in a blanket. I mean, this is just funny. Another one. Move that further round. Oh, coming out to cooking sausages while they're in packets now. And that's it. And what I'm going to do is, wow, I've been moved that because that's going to be red hot. Just when I thought the twist had stopped coming, Kay throws a curveball. Kay, were you really preparing your entire Christmas dinner on a pan? resting on a pot of boiling something on a list of things to never do in the kitchen? That's got to be up there at the top. I'm going to put some stuff in, in the bit that's left. I should just put it all in one lump and then cut it up so now. So I'll do that again then. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna put it all in one lump gr one lump growth of there, there. 
There we are. Now look, I know that roast kind of dinners like this are pretty common where you put a bunch of vegetables surrounding some sort of meat and cook it all at once, but I don't I don't know if this is really safe. There's a lot of things going on on this pan that I feel like probably need different times and different temperatures. I would not trust sausage, bacon, potatoes, a stuffing, and a giant slab of pork to all cook equally. And that's it. So that can go back in the oven for about probably about another hour until everything's cooked. Oh my god, what has happened? It looks like that meal that Mr. Krabs made when Squidward was trying to impress Squilliam. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? As you can see, the turkey is done. I've had to go up picking it up and it fell apart. So that means it's overdone, which I always do. But I did ask Google and it did say how long to do it. So I'll put that gravy back on there. And then the three roast potatoes that I put in with the turkey as well. I picked them up, that's it. Okay, I think everything might be slightly over. Maybe, maybe turn down the heat a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I thought this quote gravy was like pureed black beans at first. I don't, uh, I don't think gravy's supposed to look like that. Also, I think that a little Christmas elf snuck into your oven and threw those potatoes into a volcano because uh, it looked kind of rough. And then there's just the gravy. When I'm waiting for this to warm up. And if you're wondering what's in the gravy, it's li liver. And what up? Yeah, even the smoke alarm has questions. Liver in the gravy? Is that a normal thing? I really don't know. I'm not much of a gravy guy. I'm a firm believer that if you need like sauces and gravies to enjoy something that it wasn't really good to begin with. My only exception is fries. I can go down on some good fry sauce, but for everything else, I just like to enjoy the food for what it is. Yeah, right now I'm going to do, put the gravy on the uh, dinner. Maybe while I stand that ring off. There we are, nice and thick, just as we like it. Are you filming this or are you... Well, I'm just wondering, I don't know if you're filming with your hand. That is the Christmas dinner done. Okay, I mean this in the nicest way possible, but I think without context, like if I didn't watch this video and you showed me these plates on their own, I would have no idea what I'm looking at. That is a, that is a healthy serving of gravy. Also a healthy serving of, <laughs> of mashed potatoes, my God. And then peas, oh my God, I hate peas so much. I don't understand how anybody enjoys peas. But yeah, not exactly what I would recognize as a Christmas dinner over here in America. Now, as you know, that was a Christmas dinner that's just been done. I shall not be doing another one for a very long time so if you keep asking i will just i mean you can't if you can't see it i mean it's the same what i did last time so it's just really silly asking for it so if you like what you see please keep viewing me well my god Kay, i don't know if i do like what i saw today i feel like i just got scolded by my mother i mean i'm sorry but i feel like the christmas dinner was okay Kay. i mean it was a little burn and the gravy looked kind of funky but i mean that happens to everybody it seems like you got what you were planning i don't really know what went wrong in your plan but uh, i'm sorry you feel this way Kay. but it's been four years since this video has been uploaded so i think she's serious well guys what did you think do you think that this was a Christmas dinner bad enough to end all Christmas dinners. I mean, it didn't look exactly appetizing, but like I said, I don't know what actually went wrong to K, other than it being a little bit burnt, but I mean, who hasn't burnt food before? What do you guys eat for Christmas? You got any big plans? Let me know in the comments. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody watching. I hope you guys enjoy the time with your family. If you can spend any, get off YouTube, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.